Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Now I'm taking you back to King Henry VIII's reign today. But on this day in Tudor history, the 1st of July, 1535, Sir Thomas More, Henry VIII's former Lord Chancellor, was tried for high treason by a special commission of Oyer and Terminer. He was found guilty and was executed on the 6th of July, 1535. Sir Thomas More once famously said of King Henry VIII that if my head would win him a castle in France, it should not fail to go. And I often wonder how serious he was in saying that. Was it said in jest or did More know exactly what King Henry VIII was capable of? It's impossible to know. But his closeness to the king did indeed cost him his life. In 1531, Moore had refused to sign the Oath of Supremacy, declaring that King Henry VIII was supreme head of the English Church, because he believed that this position belonged to the Pope. He offered to resign on a couple of occasions, and his resignation was finally accepted by Henry in 1532. Moore then refused to swear his allegiance to the Act of Succession, although he accepted Parliament's right to declare Anne Boleyn as Queen, because he could not accept the part of the Act which asserted Parliament's authority to legislate in religious matters. In Moore's opinion, only the Pope had this right. Resignation and silence was not enough for the King and his followers. Moore's refusal to sign the oath and his refusal to attend Anne Boleyn's coronation in 1533 led to him being arrested for treason on charges of premonir. On many occasions, Thomas Cromwell tried to persuade Moore to sign the oath, but Moore's conscience would not allow him to back down on matters of faith, and he ended up going to trial. Letters and papers, foreign and domestic, Henry VIII, includes a record of the commission of Oyer and Terminer, which tried Sir Thomas More for treason on the 1st of July, 1535, including a list of those who sat in judgment on Moore, many of whom you'll recognise. Sir Thomas Audley, Moore's replacement as Chancellor, Thomas Howard, 3rd Duke of Norfolk, Charles Brandon, Duke of Suffolk, Henry Clifford, Earl of Cumberland, Thomas Boleyn, Earl of Wiltshire, George Hastings, Earl of Huntingdon, Henry, Lord Montague, George Boleyn, Lord Rochford, Andrew, Lord Windsor, Thomas Cromwell, Secretary, Sir William Fitzwilliam, Sir William Paulet, Sir John Fitzjames, Sir John Baldwin, Sir Richard Lister, Sir John Port, Sir John Spellman, Sir Walter Luke and Sir Anthony Fitzherbert. How fickle the Tudor court could be. But what was Sir Thomas More actually charged with? Well, he was tried for high treason for denying the validity of the new act of succession. The indictment stated that More had traitorously attempted to deprive the king of the title of the supreme head of the church that he'd written to his fellow prisoner, Bishop John Fisher, that the act of Parliament is like a sword with two edges, for if a man answer one way, it will confound his soul, and if he answers the other way, it will confound his body, something that he'd repeated during interrogations. Moore had held on to the belief that if he did not voice his denial of the king's supremacy over the church in England, Moore had held on to the belief that if he did not voice his denial of the king's supremacy over the church in England, then he could not be found guilty. But, unfortunately, Thomas Cromwell produced Richard Rich to claim that he'd heard Moore deny that the king was head of the church. After hearing this, Moore spoke up and said that no temporal man may be the head of spirituality. At his trial at Westminster, Moore pleaded not guilty but he was found guilty under the Treason Act of 1534 and sentenced to a full traitor's death to be carried out at Tyburn, although this was later commuted to beheading on Tower Hill. Thomas More was beatified on the 29th of December 1886 by Pope Leo XIII and then canonised on the 19th of May 1935. In the year 2000, Pope John Paul II declared him to be the heavenly patron of statesmen and politicians. 
Moore and his friend, Bishop John Fisher, who was executed on the 22nd of June 1535, are remembered by Catholics with a feast day on the 22nd of June every year. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 1st of July 1543, in the reign of King Henry VIII, the Treaties of Greenwich were signed. These treaties were between the kingdoms of Scotland and England, and amongst other terms was the agreement of a marriage between Prince Edward, the future King Edward VI, and Mary Queen of Scots. You can find out more about these treaties and the subsequent war known as the Rough Wooing in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. Wow, I'm being bombarded by flies. How about you notice them uh, landing on my head there? You can subscribe to the channel by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye bye.